Hello everybody, are you preparing for any competitive exam? Well then this video is definitely for you because today we are going to discuss the 10 out of the box tips for qualifying any competitive exam faster. I am Dr. Vaishali, Academic Specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we discuss anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. So this video is sponsored by Biotechnica. Biotechnica is the world's largest platform of bioscientists, right? So you can go on to this particular website to know more about Biotechnica. Now, the first tip that I want to give you is prepare early, right? Because if you start preparing early, you will have ample time for you to schedule your preparation and uh, till the exam date, right? So obviously you can create a study schedule, right? Schedule uh, that has both long-term milestones as well as short-term milestones. So that is going to come really helpful, especially in competitive exams, right? So third is it allows you to cover all of the exam material. So the, the competitive exams, generally the syllabus is going to be very fast, isn't it? So it's not the same compared to your college uh, semester or any of the courses that you're doing. So obviously the exam is going to be very vast. That means you need ample time to prepare. So that's the reason you need to start early so that you can cover all of the exam material, right? So if you're going to start early, then you can also go with a systematic and organized way. If you're starting very late, then your preparation is definitely going to be haphazard, isn't it? You wouldn't know where to start and where to end, what to skip, what to give importance to. So all of this, what material to study. So all of, it, all of this is going to be very hectic for you, especially when you start late, closer to the competitive exam. So yes, it's very important for you to start early and prepare accordingly. The next tip that I'm going to give you is about the exam format, right? So before even you start preparing for the exam, it's important for you to know what is the format of the exam that you're going to give. That is, you have to review the exam format as well as the content. So that you can do mainly by looking at the syllabus, okay? First is the syllabus. Second is you can look at what are the you know, what is the type of questions that come? How many marks question? Is it MCQ? Is it subjective, right? All of those and how many uh, marks? What is the negative marking? All of that. And third is, of course, the previous year question paper. So this is also going to give you a very good uh, detail about what is the trend that is going on in the particular competitive exam that you're giving. So this helps you in focusing your study efforts on the areas that are most heavily tested, isn't it? If you see the previous year question papers, you're going to know what is the weightage given to which particular area or which particular topic. So that way you can design your study according to this particular format. So that is the reason you need to know why an exam, you know, what is the exam format and why it is necessary to have the right information about this exam. The next tip that I have for you is about the study material in itself, right? So you have seen the what's the format of the uh, question paper or what the format of the exam is going to be, but where do you study from? So that is the next big question that we're going to answer. So first, you can use variety of study materials, starting from say textbooks or study guides or practice exams, right? So these are the different kind of study materials that you can have for uh, preparing for your competitive exam, right? So it can be any reference books or textbooks that you've used or that is being prescribed for any particular subject in your competitive exam, right? So that is one. The second is that you're going to get a well-rounded understanding of the exam content, right? So if you are uh, going to read the study material or if you're going to uh, go through the study material, then it's going to give a well-rounded understanding of that particular subject of that competitive exam. So that's the, uh, you know, that is what is important with study material. One more tip that I want to give you in this uh, particular slide is that you can go with 
pictorial representations of the concepts right pictorial or you can say visualizing uh, elements that uh, will help you to memorize and to remember and recollect the concepts and the facts very clearly so that is what is going to help you in a competitive exam as well the next step is about test testing yourself why is taking the test very important in a competitive exam of course you need to practice the test taking strategies because so all of these competitive exams as you know is all time bound right you have prescribed time limit for uh, giving the number of questions so obviously you need to know strategies that can help you to uh, you know minimize or to manage your time efficiently so those strategies you will understand only when you practice more and that is the reason it's important for you to take tests so it's not just to answer questions it's not just to practice questions but to practice tests that is give a uh, you know correct uh, you know give you know uh, replicate the environment the test taking environment in your home or in your classroom and then give that test so that is what is going to help you in competitive exams so first is the time management and of course about effective reading so you need to give some time for reading the question also right and that is going to take time so you need to know how effectively you can read a question and understand it right because the question could be a long one and you might lose interest or you might get distracted by the time you finish that particular question reading that question and you will have to go again and read that question so that way you're going to lose time there so yes these taking these tests is going to make you an effective reader and the comprehension techniques right so that is also very important lastly it's going to improve your performance on the on the d day right so as we talked about taking the tests is going to help you perform well on the d day the next is problem solving right so it's very important for you to work on building your problem solving skills and your critical thinking skills because these come very handy during the examination right so if you go blank if you go blank or if you don't know any answer for any question then if you are able to critically think and if you're able to come to an answer that is through elimination method or say through just by applying logic and common sense if you're able to come with an answer then yes it's going to be an advantage for you because in competitive exam i'm sure that you all know that every mark counts you might not know the answer for every question out there but with your critical thinking and with your problem solving skills you will be able to attain a particular answer and this guys is often tested in competitive exams like i told you the difficulty of a question paper is set based on this right based on the ability uh, you know that you have with critical thinking because not you cannot know the answers for all the questions out there so that is how you are being differentiated by with the rest of the other so that is how you can clear a competitive exam itself through critical thinking skills so do work on that the next is about tutorials right so this especially if you are finding it difficult in preparing for the subjects in any particular subject or the whole syllabus itself then you can take help from outside right you can take tutorials you can take additional tutorial or coaching if at all you're finding it difficult to understand the concept or finish the syllabus within time with the correct strategy and the correct uh, you know uh, timetable and how to study and all of this so if you're finding it difficult then you can take guidance you can take tutorial and it will help you to prepare for the exam right you can take help from others to prepare for the exam especially when you're struggling with certain topics or areas or even the exam content in general right so if you are a csir net 
uh, if you are a CSIR net aspirant, then we have Drona badge for CSIR net, which comes along with the scholarships. If you're finding, if you are a CSIR aspirant and uh, CSIR net aspirant, and you are finding it difficult to you know, have proper guidance, then this is one option for you. The Drona batch has started and you can still enroll in this particular batch. You can pay monthly as low as just 4,000 rupees and you can get a one year subscription. Along with this, you also have Drona scholarships and you get all the workshops as well as one internship for free. If you're uh, you know, enrolling into the Drona batch, you can call this particular number or you can uh, drop an email to info at biotechnica.org if you want to know more about this particular Drona batch for CSIR net preparation. The next tip that I'm going to give you guys is about the practicing the exams, right? So you have to take regular uh, practicing exams because it's going to stimulate the exam environment like we talked about just like how you would be uh, sitting for the exam and then giving the exam with say for example your watch and your water bottle your pa your paper and your your notes so all of that sit with that sit with all of that and at a peaceful environment with no distraction and no disturbance. So you have to stimulate the same environment that you would be facing when you are sitting for the exam. So stimulate such environment and give the exam. So that is going to break all your nervousness, especially when you enter for the exam, right? So that is how it's going to help apart from the time management, apart from, you know, the strategies that you can pick up from giving, uh, you know, practice exams. This is one thing that definitely helps you. That is, it's going to break down your nervousness and your stress about the exam day, right? So that is very important. It also helps you to identify your strengths and your weakness. For example, are you good at this subject or you are, are you good at that subject? Or even are you good at time management or not? Are you able to read the question and understand or not? Are you good at critical thinking or not? So it helps you to identify your own self, your own strength and weakness. And that is very important for you to strategize uh, yourself, especially during the exam. The next point or the next important tip that I have for you is about motivation. Because if you are preparing for a competitive exam, it's going to be a long struggle, right? Say for example, it's a one year preparation that you're doing. It's going to be a long struggle and it's very common for you to lose motivation at any point of this time. And at such times, what is important for you to remember is why did you start? Right. So just write, write it on a piece of paper as to why did you start preparing for this exam? What is the goal that was in your mind and paste it at your study table? Whenever you're demotivated, just go to that particular point, read it, and then you will feel refreshed again. You will find the purpose of what you're doing again. Right. So it helps you to stay focused. It helps you to be motivated throughout your study period. Right. Basically, you have to avoid getting discouraged if you don't see immediate progress, right? So you may give some test and then see that you did not perform well in that particular test, then it's very easy for you to get discouraged by it, right? So you should avoid this particular discouragement. You have to motivate yourself. There are multiple videos in Biotechnica as well for motivation and for helping you to achieve your dreams. So go through those motivational videos whenever you're feeling low. The next is about your lifestyle, right? So when you're preparing for competitive exams, it's going to be highly stressful. So it's not just using your brain and reading and everything, but you should also put the support system that's necessary for the whatever hard work that you're doing, right? Exa especially rest and exercise. So you have to take plenty of rest because that is going to remove all the toxins in your body. When you're resting, the toxins that are accumulated in your body will be removed. If you don't get enough sleep, that means your next day is not going to be productive. So get ample sleep, ample rest that you require and exercise as well. So being active throughout the day, say for just for half an hour or one hour, if you're not used to uh, exercising every day, then start it. You, along with exercise, you can even go for meditation. 
because this is going to help you in your exam preparation as well. It's going to help you keep yourself focused. So yes, get plenty of rest as well as exercise. Exercising is going to be a big stress buster for you. Sweating out is going to again remove the toxins from your body and you are going to feel refreshed again when you're going to start studying, right? So that is very important. Second, maintain a healthy diet because anything wrong with your physical body, it's going to affect your study as well. So as much importance as you're giving to the study that you're doing, you should also give importance for the lifestyle. Ensure that you're mentally and physically prepared for this exam. So changing your lifestyle or accommodating the lifestyle according to the exam that you're going to give will is also a very important uh, point to remember apart from the studies that you're going to do. The next point that I'm going to, or the next tip that I'm going to give you is about the support system, right? It's about the support system that you have. Seek out resources and support from friends, from friends, family, as well as other students who are preparing for this exam. Because learning from others, taking help from others is what is going to keep you motivated and it's going to keep you more focused about your study. And studying together, that is doing group studies and sharing the few strategies and tips is also going to be very helpful. So sharing as in give and take, you share the knowledge that you have with others and others are going to share the knowledge they have with you. So that is going to be a very good strategy as well for preparing for competitive exams, especially. With this, I come to the end of this particular discussion. I'm sure it was super helpful for all of you out there. If you have any more out of the box tips for a competitive exam, let us know in the comment section below. We are really happy to hear it, hear that from you, hear that from the aspirants themselves. Let us know in the comment section and we'll have a discussion. Thank you so much and see you all until next video.